Hello and welcome back to the channel. In our previous video in the Apache Kafka series, we were able to write a Kafka producer using Java. In this short video, we will be making use of what is known as a callback to ensure whether our write operation succeeded or failed. And we will also try to retrieve and log some metadata information about the message that we just wrote into a Kafka topic. So if you have not subscribed to this channel already, now would be a great time to do so and let's quickly get started. Now as you can see on my screen, to send any data to a Kafka topic, we need to create a producer and on this producer, we need to call the send method and the send method takes the record or the data that we are trying to write onto that Kafka topic as an argument. Now please note that this send method is an overloaded method. So uh, the send method we are using right now is this send method which just takes the producer record as an argument. But this method can be overloaded to also accept a callback. Now what is a callback in programming terms? Well a callback is just a, a few lines of code that can be passed to another function or method and that function will be calling this code when it feels is the right time for calling this piece of code. So we are going to extend the capabilities of our producer by means of this callback. What we, what we are going to do is that we are going to receive information about whether our write operation was successful or not. And we are also going to receive some metadata about the message that we have just written into the Kafka topic. So without further delay, let's get started with writing some code. The very first thing that I would want to do here is create a logger for my producer class. So let me declare a variable here, which is final and is of type logger. And let this be called logger is equal to logger factory, uh, which is from the SLF4J library that we included while we were setting up IntelliJ to be able to work with Kafka. Uh, producer dot class and that sets up our logger for this producer class now it did not import the class automatically so we might have to do it manually and yes the next change that we want to make here is use the other version of the send method which is the overloaded version of the send method so what i'm going to do here is simply uh, create an object of type callback so let me simply say new callback and that's the class we want to use org.apache.kafka.clients.producer. I hit enter. As you can see, IntelliJ overrides a certain method which is public void on completion here automatically. And this on completion method takes two arguments. One is of type record metadata and the other one is of type exception. Before we proceed further, let us actually have a look at the callback interface. So this interface has only one method, which is the on completion method. As we can see that this method has been overridden here. And this method will be called once our message is successfully written into the Kafka topic. Now I am simply going to add an if else statement here. So let me say that if E is actually equal to null then i am going to log something and if e is not equal to null which means that the record we were trying to write into the kafka topic actually failed so uh, we are going to log the error so let me say logger dot error and we can say that error occurred and we can also print out e now this happens to be the failure case in which the record we were trying to write into Kafka does not get written into Kafka uh, because of any sort of error and that will get logged here if that happens. And this part is actually the success case in which the message we try to write into the Kafka topic actually gets written into the Kafka topic and we receive some metadata about that record. So let's actually start exploring the record metadata object here. When I say record metadata dot, I am shown a list of methods that I can call on this object. 
So uh, it has a couple of relevant methods like uh, the offset, the partition, the serialized key size, serialized value size. It has the timestamp. It has the topic. It has two string. We will be using a couple of these in our logging scenario. In the interest of time, I am just simply going to add some pre-written code over here. So uh, what are we trying to achieve? Well, we are logging some info here and um, we are printing received record metadata. And with that, we print the topic to which the record was written. We uh, try to print the number of the partition uh, to which that record was written. We try to print the offset of that record in that partition of this Kafka topic, as well as the timestamp when that record was written into the Kafka topic. At this point of time, I really hope that our uh, Java producer will be able to function correctly. But uh, before running that, I would like to start a Kafka console consumer right here as well. And now we are going to run our program and see what happens. Okay, so we see the value, value two getting printed here. So is that the message that we wrote into the Kafka topic? And yes, that is. And do we see some record metadata? Okay, we see that the topic to which our record got produced is the sample topic. The partition is partition number zero. The offset is two, which means that this partition already has two more messages in it. And this is the timestamp. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to put the entire producer record creation as well as the producer dot send into a for loop so that our program can produce a, a larger quantity of messages and we can see that in action. For that, I will start by simply creating a for loop for i int i is equal to zero. I is less than, let's say, 10 and plus plus i. And then I am going to move this entire piece of code inside this for loop. Uh, okay, as for the keys, we could just append this with the value of the variable i, let it be key underscore i, and let the value also be value underscore plus i. Okay, let's go ahead and try running this program. Okay, so we can see these values are getting consumed by our console consumer. And here we can also see that all of these values have been written into the Kafka topic. We can see the offset is increasing. Uh, we can see here offset 3, offset 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have produced a total of 10 messages into this Kafka topic. Now, uh, there's one catch here. Uh, this topic which is sample topic has only one partition so all of these messages or records are getting written onto the same partition and the offset is increasing continuously so what we are going to do here is instead of writing and consuming messages from sample topic we are going to use uh, a topic which is called java topic which i have created with the three partitions so let me change the consumer also to java topic and now let's actually try to run this program again and see what happens. Okay, again, we see all of the values getting printed. Um, let's count the number of values. And okay, yes, these are 10 values. And this time we can see that the values have been written into uh, different partitions. Like this first value got written into partition one, again, partition one, partition zero, partition zero, partition zero, uh, partition two, and uh, the last couple of values got written into partition two. So that's all we wanted to discuss for this short video, guys. Uh, this, so in this way, by making use of callbacks, our producer actually gets to know whether the, the data writing into the topic was successful uh, or was it unsuccessful. And if it was successful, it can also find out some metadata about the record just, that was just written into the Kafka topic. And that's all we had to discuss in this short video. So if you like the content of the video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. Like always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial.